Each year, countless species are driven closer to extinction while criminals make billions of dollars from the sale of protected wildlife. At the center of this conflict is the rhino's horn. Poaching of rhinos has reached unprecedented levels, but conservationists are working hard in the fight to protect this iconic species. And this handsome guy is playing his spot. Bullet is a detection and attack dog. This means he can sniff out rhino horn, elephant ivory, as well as arms and ammunition. And he's been trained to take down the bad guys. Bullet works alongside Busumzi here at Ado National Park. Musumzi, how long have you and Bullet been working together? It's two years. Uh, we've got Bullet and Benji. Benji is a tracker dog, Bullet is a detection dog. We train them every day. We train Bullet to sniff the cones and the cartridge. They help us a lot because when we are patrolling along the fence, and then the people, they just run away because they are afraid of the dogs. Has he ever helped to catch any poachers? Yes, uh, remember we are doing a patrol along the fence and one guy was inside the park and then was trying to kill our animals and then we managed to catch him. Well done, Bullet. Good boy. Bullet is one of over 13 dogs who are out in the field across South Africa working to keep our rhinos safe. These dogs are trained and placed as part of the EWT Rhino Conservation Project. Yolan Friedman, CEO of EWT, believes that these dogs have a critical role to play. Why did the EWT start the Rhino Conservation Project? You know, we were already working on illegal wildlife trade in a number of different species, but obviously when the rhino statistics started to be quantified and we started to see that trend, then immediately we realized that the EWT needed to be doing something about what was likely but unfortunately going to become a crisis. One of the very first things that we did was we introduced the idea of wildlife sniffing and tracking dogs into the anti-poaching environment dog's potential to sniff accurately certain items is just a thousand times more accurate than any other technology that we know of. We've had dogs that have tracked poachers right up to their homesteads and because they've been able to then locate the arms and ammunition and bullets inside that homestead that's also allowed for a very successful prosecution because they've managed to trace them from source right to the home and find evidence of poaching in that person's home. But these canine rangers need regular funding to keep them on the job. And along with this, a number of other strategies are needed to combat the huge surge in rhino poaching. A multi-pronged conservation effort requires lots of funding, which can often be challenging. Over six million rand has been raised in recent years, all through a unique South African fundraising program. It was all thanks to a group of South Africans, none of whom spent a single cent of their own money, headed up by Peter Twine. Peter, can you tell us about the My School, My Village, My Planet fundraising program? Yes, Bertus, the My School, My Village, My Planet fundraising program gives every South African the opportunity to make a difference to a cause that's near their heart. By shopping with our participating retail partners, our retail partners contribute a percentage of their profit towards the fundraising initiative. For example, Woolworths last year contributed over one and a half million towards the My Planet fundraising program. Why was the My Planet Rhino Fund established and how are funds allocated? The My Planet Rhino Fund was established about five years ago. Knowing that we couldn't do it on our own, we've partnered with experts in the field of conservation. We got EWT, Endangered Wildlife Trust, administering the fund for us. And we thought the opportunity existed to create a channel for our supporters to give back in a credible and reputable way to rhino conservation and anti-poaching initiatives. Addo Elephant National Park is one of the many beneficiaries who receive support from the My Planet Rhino Fund to purchase equipment. Solomon Lafoca is senior section ranger at Addo, and this equipment plays an important role in helping him to ensure the protection of their animals, especially rhinos. Solomon, what is this funding used for? The funding has assisted us uh, through the purchasing of camera traps in the park for conservation, the purchasing of the Ranger Polaris, and also the engine of the Bedhawk aircraft. Uh, these camera traps help a lot in terms of uh, rhino monitoring and other species as well. They are actually non-invasive methods of monitoring. You can look at the animal condition, if there's newborn cows, and also if the animal has been around for a while. What is this vehicle used for? Um, this vehicle has been used by rangers. Uh, rangers are being deployed into the field for anti-poaching operations. 
rangers check fences and also the monitoring of our water points. So it's a very, very important piece of equipment um, uh, for us. So we are very grateful for this. And it's not just the boots on the ground. The Arrow team also have eyes up in the sky. The aircraft is being used for area coverage. If there's anything that the pilot picks up from the air, then the pilot can actually alert the ground team. So that uh, plays a very, very crucial role in uh, law enforcement. What impact has all of this support had on you and your team? Uh, this has had great impact. You know, it has assisted us a lot. So all of that equipment act as a uh, force multiplier uh, on anti-poaching uh, operation. They are actually motivated. It keeps them going. 50,000 South Africans present My Planet cards at the till when shopping. This seemingly small action is making a big impact out in the field. With so many people doing so much to help protect our rhinos, we must believe that we will win this war against poaching.